hey there welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany bundles and today's video is going to be going over some tips If you can afford to pay your e-commerce um, platform, I would still recommend doing it. I just, I, you know, I like to set the right expectation that typically when you start business, your business is not going to start off just booming. Um, it's going to take some time, but it's very important to have a reliable presence online so that people know that you're here to stay. There are so many businesses that start websites. They're here one month and gone the next. So they're here for six months and then you can't find them anymore. You may have been thinking about reaching out for them to them for the last few months and then you finally do and their website isn't inactive. It doesn't look professional. Um, it could cause a lot of lost sales. It could cause a lot of uh, um, lost, what, what can I say? I don't want to say respect, but people may not value your business as seriously. You know, if I'm going to shop for some shoes and I go to a website and one month their website's working and the next month they don't have a website, I come back the next month their website is still off, but their social media, they're still posting and I'm just kind of confused. I'm not going to feel confident and comfortable purchasing, spending my hard on earned money with the company because I'm not sure if they're in business, if they're not in business, like I don't, I don't really know what they're doing. So it's very important to set the right expectation like I talk about a lot in my business videos. And I'm gonna just go over some ways on how to transition if you are going to do that because there have been a lot of um, business owners that have transitioned from e-commerce to selling solely on social media and they have been successful doing so. So if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I want to go over, if you're looking at closing down your website, before you close out your website, send out a notice via email or text. Whatever method you communicate with your customers through, use that. So send out an email newsletter or send out a text or send out both if you have both and let people know what to expect ahead of time. You don't want to wait until the night before. You don't want to wait until the week before, but give them some notice to let people know what to expect. Let them know that you're no longer going to have this website active, but they can keep it with you here. Let them know how often you're going to be staying connected via email newsletters or text messages um, subscriptions let them know um, where they can find you let them know how to place their order send multiple emails out letting them know what's to come so you can send your first email alerting them that you're going to be transitioning from this website domain to your social media platform or platforms you can also um, send another email out or a text message out letting them know if they are wanting to purchase these are the steps now in which they purchase um, if you're transitioning to Facebook there are ways that you know your customer can go on Facebook and literally tap on the product they're interested in and purchase that way there are ways that your customer can go on Instagram and do the same type of thing if you're gonna sell on Amazon so whatever way, um, it doesn't even have to be social media only, but if you're looking at selling on another platform like Amazon or just any other platform too, you can give those, inf those details and that information in your um, mailings and also provide detailed information like I mentioned on how the processes are changing. Um, also, post it on your website. Post it on your website before it closes. So you know, like if you have Shopify, you're able to download different apps, okay? There is an app that I use where I have a banner across my website. And I also have an app that I use where I have different pop-ups. So if you want to share that message via a pop-up or a banner, that's also a really smart idea so that when people go to your website, because uh, people, everyone that goes to your website has not subscribed to your email mailing list. So there's a chance that even though you sent out all of these notifications, People that are new coming to your website or people that have gone to your website but have not enrolled in your mailing list or people that have gone to your website enrolled in your mailing list but don't check their correspondence, maybe it goes to their junk folder, maybe they don't open their emails, maybe they don't read spam text messages and maybe they consider you know, marketing emails or text spam and they don't know. So it's really important to utilize all of your resources and that is another resource you can use by putting across like a banner across your website, letting people know that your website is going to be inactive on a certain day. And now if they want to purchase, they'll need to follow this channel or this platform. Now you don't wanna phrase it and just say, my website isn't gonna work anymore. Make sure you go over to Instagram. You wanna make it sound very um, professional. So you can say as of 10-1, uh, uh, orders will be placed through blank, whatever platform or platforms you're gonna be using. Um, make sure you subscribe to our email mailing list for more information. 
or um, reach out to customer service for more information or check out our blog for more information. You can actually, you know, have your blog paired to your website so that if people are interested in reading more, they can read all that information there. That's probably what I would do or put that information in the about section of your website. But what some people do is when they're about to close down their website or when they feel like they're not going to be able to afford paying for their website, they just let it close and that's it. And they don't let people know ahead of time because sometimes they're embarrassed. Sometimes they just forget. Sometimes they don't feel the need to, but it's important to use all of your resources up until the day you can't. So utilize that, utilize those apps and utilize those pop-ups and that banner um, and any other apps that you can think of to get the message across. The next thing that I want to go over is organize your social media accounts. The last thing you want is for you to let everyone know ahead of time to go over to your social media to purchase certain products and services and then they go over to your social media accounts and there's no clear outline of how they can purchase. There are a million stores probably selling what you're selling, okay? Like I mentioned in one of my Monday Motivation videos, there's only one you though. So even though there's thousands of people selling what you're selling, millions of people selling what you're selling, it is not a reason to get discouraged or to allow the oversaturation to kick you out of the game. I've gone over some videos in regard to that. So if you're interested in hearing um, the fact that you know, you're know you unique, even though a lot of people may be selling what you're selling, be sure to check out my, um, be sure to check out my motivation playlist because I have a lot of motivational videos for entrepreneurs in that playlist. However, like I was saying, you wanna make sure that you're organized. Make sure that everything looks neat, that you have information on your social media or whatever platform you're going to that explains how they can purchase now or um, the platform is already explaining how to purchase or it's a known platform where people know how to purchase. For example, Amazon. If you're selling books and you know you transition to Amazon, um, as long as they have that link where they can go and purchase their book for, through Amazon, you know, that's kind of self-explanatory how to purchase through Amazon. But like Instagram, Facebook, not everyone knows how to purchase on those platforms. So you want to make sure that it is very like you're posting things. You can post it in a cute way, but explaining how to get to your store, how to purchase through social media. Um, what the process looks like, screenshots if you need to, um, different tutorials, just, you know, different different uh, creative ways to get the message out of now this is how I am selling my products and this is how you can purchase. The next thing that you want to do before you even transition to selling solely on a social media site or on a different um, platform, you want to read their payment and refund terms because not every site or platform has the same payment terms. The last thing you want is for you to go from having a website where you are more in control of the payment methods that you accept. For example, Facebook and Instagram, um, they have different payment methods available that you can go through. Um, if you got if you if you have a Shopify e-commerce store, you have options as well of different payment methods that you can go through, and you have more options for uh, payment merchants than you would um, on so certain social media sites and certain platforms. So my website, I accept PayPal and Klarna. So if I'm transitioning over to selling on Facebook or selling on Instagram, I want to make sure that whatever payment method I'm um, using, I'm okay with their payment and their return process because if they have a process um, that is not in agreement with my business and it's going to cause more conflict on my end meaning people can you know dispute and when they dispute the you know they're all the process for that payment merchant is to automatically award them the money while you're you know fighting to prove that they actually made this purchase if that's something that you're not wanting to go with or deal with you have to become creative of how you're going to work around it so you may want to do something where you promote your products and you have a system where people are dming you what they are wanting to purchase and you send out a paypal invoice or they you know you just have to become creative and figure out what's going to align with the way that you do business um but you want to think about that before because a lot of times what happens is we get so excited or hooked on one idea and we don't think it all the way through and we don't see it all the way through and then when unforeseen circumstances come we get even more discouraged and a lot of times we quit what we're doing or we just you know um go with it but we're not really happy with how we're doing business and we're not really profiting from the decisions that we made so you want to make sure that you're protecting your business at all times so read through those payment processes read through the refund process even if you're thinking hey i really don't have too many refunds the moment you think you're not going to get a refund is the moment that 
I wish I had some wood, but a lot of times it's the moment, it's, it's the least expected moments that you want to watch out for. It's not the moments that you can just, you know, bet on and count on, but it's the moments that you may not even anticipate coming that you have to step up to the plate for and figure out how you're going to resolve it. Um, being, a, you know, an entrepreneur, being a, a business owner, how are you going to fix this? Um, and how are you going to move forward? The next and last tip that I have is become creative with marketing, um, because you're replacing all the apps that you used to have with an e-commerce website, depending on the e-commerce website that you're using. I, I refer to Shopify because I am using Shopify for my hair website. I've used Shopify for some years. If you are interested in trying out Shopify, I believe there's a link below this video. So click on the link and um, go ahead and they may even have a free trial, but you have to click on the link to see. But with Shopify, they have so many different apps that I've become accustomed to using to help my business run more efficiently. So if I was to close down my Shopify store and start selling hair on a different platform, I would have to become creative with the ways that I'm currently getting email news, um, getting my email newsletter subscribers because all that is channeled through my website. Okay, so I'm going to have to be creative on how I'm getting people to enroll, whether that be I'm creating a link tree and I'm adding that to my social media so that I can still promote my mailing list, but I'm promoting it in a different way where people are not going to my website, but they're going to my Instagram, clicking on the link tree and being able to sign up for my email newsletters. Um, different pop-ups that I have that share information, different pop-ups that I have that share sale information or um, information that's happening with the store, with products. I'm going to need to become creative on how I'm going to bring that same excitement to social media. Uh, what am I going to post? How frequently am I going to post? So you can do it. You can definitely transition from an online store to selling solely on social media, but there are steps that you want to take ahead of time. And I hope these steps helped. I also want to say too that if you are um, feeling like you're going to transition from your website to social media, um, don't get discouraged, okay? And don't allow your website to close without setting the right expectation because it's gonna be even harder to let people know what you're doing uh, without that central point to, to give people the information. There are gonna be some people that miss the information, but if you can get a lot of people that know what's going on, that's gonna work better for you. You have people already knowing what you're doing. You have people already following what you're doing, going to your site, keeping up with your products and things like that. So I really hope that this video helped. I just wanted to, to go over a couple tips as to how you can transition efficiently from selling online to selling on social media. If you want more information or if you want more details about anything in regards to business, be sure to leave those comments down below. I do want to thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.